So it's time to start talking about vectors, and what we are looking at here are vectors. Put very, very simply, vectors are arrows. So all of these are vectors. Now vectors can exist in two dimensions, but vectors can also exist in three dimensions. So here I have a, a three-dimensional representation of, or a two-dimensional representation of a 3D vector, moving across and this way and up. 2D vectors, 3D vectors, they all work. If you want another example of a 3D vector, look around the room, look at the top left-hand corner of your room, look at the back right-hand lower corner, and draw a line between those two, and that arrow from one line to another, from one corner to another corner, that would be a three-dimensional vector. So let's talk about this vector in particular. Uh, if we want to be able to talk about vectors, it's useful to be able to like label them, that kind mm -hmm. of thing. So we're going to label this one as the letter U. That's usually the letter you would use for a vector. But we're going to put a little squiggle underneath it. The little squiggle underneath it says, hey, this is a vector. So if you happen to see in the wild somewhere the letter U with a little thing underneath it, that means vector. You can use any letter of the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Just by convention, we start at U. If we've got another vector, we might call it vector V. If we've got another vector, we might call it W. If we have heaps and heaps of vectors, then we're going to have to use all the letters of the alphabet, but that's where we start generally. Squiggly line. Now, a vector has two important properties. Every vector is defined by two properties. The first property is magnitude, how long a vector is. So this vector is exactly that long. You could end up with a shorter vector, you could end up with a longer vector, a longer vector. So one property of vectors to keep in mind is their magnitude, the other direction. So this vector is going upwards, it's going in that direction. So we can have vectors that go in this direction, or this direction, or this direction, or this direction, or this direction, all sorts of directions. All of these magnitude, all of these vectors have different directions. So these two characteristics, and only these two characteristics, are what define a vector. So let's say I had two vectors. Are these two vectors equal? Does this equal this? And the answer, of course, is no. Their magnitudes are equal. They're the same length. Okay, great, they're the same length. So they're equal. No, their directions are different. So these two are not equal. Are these two vectors equal? Well, their directions are the same. They're moving in the same direction. Great but their magnitudes are not the same. So these are not equal. They're not equal to each other. Final one, are these vectors equal to each other? I've drawn them very far apart. Well, they're the same length, or at least I'm telling you they are. So yes, their magnitudes are the same. Are their directions the same? Yes, their directions are the same. So these vectors are equal to each other. And not only are they equal to each other, they are each other. If this is vector u, this is vector u. We can draw a million vector u's all over our page, and it doesn't matter where we draw them, they are all the same. Vector u, vector u, 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 and u. These are all vector u. I know this seems ridiculous that I'm saying these are all the same vector, u, 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 but there's an important idea here, a very important idea that gets lost if you're not very, very careful, and that's this. When it comes to vectors, position doesn't matter at all. It doesn't matter whether the arrow is here or here or here or here, they are all the same. And why is that important? Our ability to move these vectors around the page and have them still be themselves is something that allows us to add vectors together, subtract vectors from each other, um, multiply them by some value. It's going to feel similar to some of the things you did with complex numbers. But this position doesn't matter idea is a very, very important idea that I'm kind of laboring because it's kind of important. So what are vectors good for? Like, why do we use them? What do we use them for? How, what things in the world do we describe with vectors? 
lots of things. Lots of things. All right. First of all, let's talk about motion. Anything moving can be described using a vector. Anything moving from one place to another can be described using a vector. We can talk about that uh, displacement, as in like just how far from this place to this place, or how do you get from this place to this place, just giving someone directions. But we can also talk about velocity. So for instance, uh, an airplane might take off and it might be going at, you know, I don't know how fast they travel, 800 kilometers per hour on this bearing. It's a vector, right? We can also talk about acceleration in the same way. Any kind of motion is described really, really well by vectors, either in two-dimensional space, if it's moving along the ground, or in three-dimensional space, if it's, if it's going through the, through the air. Vectors are also fantastic at dealing with force. So you might have been in the science class doing some physics stuff. You might have drawn a diagram where like, you know, gravity is acting on an object and there's a normal force and maybe someone's pushing the object so it's moving in, in this direction. These sorts of diagrams, these free body diagrams, these force diagrams, vectors. Arrows, 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 described using vectors. Vectors, super useful when it comes to thinking of the laws of motion and how things work and how forces act on objects. So vectors, fantastic. So we're gonna pull the video up here, but the only things you need to take away from it are vectors are arrows. They have a length and a direction. We don't care where they are. We can move them around as much as we like and they're still the same vector that they were before we moved them. And they're really, really good at describing the world. Really.